Hello again. Uh, this one should be a lot shorter. This is for our final project this week, which was um, drawing an interior room in, in perspective. So let's start with looking at our examples. Um, this is Schmidt's example where she took a photograph of a wall straight on in a room and made sure to include uh, part of the ceiling and part of the floor. Those were really important points. And then this was her, her beginning sketch of the room. And uh, so this was just a beginning sketch, but notice that you can see the ceiling and the floor. I mean, something I think was going to be blocking it here. Let me see. Yeah, so she didn't draw that line. Okay, so this was the point where you were supposed to send me a picture and I was supposed to help you uh, make sure that you had the, the uh, perspective correct. And I did have some of you do that. Um, and some others uh, just went ahead and turned it all in. So um, remember that for next week. And um, yeah, so I just, I need to be able to help. I need to be able to do my best for you. Okay. And then this is just another angle of the same room, a corner angle, uh, where you can see the, move myself out of the way, you can see a little bit of the ceiling there, and you can see the corner of the floor. Okay, so that was, that was the important point of the photograph, and then also to show that in your drawing. And the way she did it was, she just kind of, um, figured out what the angle was in the photograph and then tried to copy that angle onto her own drawing. And uh, that's a pretty easy way of doing it. So you can just kind of guesstimate and that that's fine too. So this is like, you know, something where we're not going to go through all the process of measuring everything because that would be too much. Okay, so here's our work. And Abby gets to go first because she begins with an A. And her photograph, I see, uh, shows the floor and the corners. And we can kind of guesstimate where the ceiling is. So, and then here was her first drawing. And the thing that I was missing here was uh, the angles. So she did a little more work and added the angles of the, the ceiling, which I think helped out a lot. Um, and I love her detail in the, in the rug by the door and in the door itself. So I think this is, you know, it's a great drawing. It's got personality to it without rulers. I would only have liked to see more perspective in the floor. You know, so the corner, not just of the ceiling, but the corners of the floor. And that would have affected uh, the lines in the rug as well. So just minor points there, um, but to be noted, right? And then here's Chloe's room, which is, oh my gosh, so clean and perfect. Wow. I don't think I've ever this lived in a home <laughs> that clean and perfect. I'm a little bit, we're a little bit more eclectic eclectic here is what we want to say, which means just, you know, stuff everywhere. Everybody's always creating something. But her drawing coming along very nicely. I can see the, the corners of the ceiling, the corners of the floor, and I see some angles here in the shelf and in the pot. So that's great. I would have liked to see a little bit more going on here with those. I mean, she had some great, you know, cubes like this box, these boxes, and uh, and also shading. Going back to Abby's, Abby does have a little bit of shading, and uh, I think that makes the drawing so much more interesting. We're going to keep talking about that too. And um, so I would, maybe some different tones here, but I would like to see a little bit more shading. Other than that, 
I see your perspective and that's wonderful. Okay, and here's Donovan's photograph of the room. It's a beautiful living room. The fancy columns and everything. And then here's your drawing. So with your drawing, Donovan, I can see I can see where you're trying to bring in the angles of uh, uh, let's see, this is oh hmm. I think that is not sure if that's the ceiling or the column. Let me look again. Hmm. So I do see some angles of perspective here. Uh, I just, you know, like I said to the others, I would have liked to see the ceiling and the floor so we can bring in that perspective. And then we can see, um, you know, a little bit of the angles of things. So not just the front, but the angle that it's sitting and also the side, you know. So here's a great example of a cube or rectangular prism that would have been nice to see uh, the angles of it. Okay, so far so good. And then here is Haley's room, living room maybe, the dining area. And she's got a lot of opportunity for uh, angles as well. So I can see the floor, I can see the ceiling, check. And then she shows us from her very beginning stages and I notice right away that she's got the corner of the floor, so that's great. And she's starting to work on that um, piece of furniture, let's call it. I know everybody calls it something different. Um, yeah, this is lovely. Okay, and so I can see some different shading. I love how you added shading here on the lamp. I think that's a lamp. Yep. And how you added the angles here of the, this um, shelving unit. I can see the ceiling. I would have liked to see a little bit of the floor here because I noticed that's in your photograph. But um, very well done. Very well done. Lots of nice detail, and I can see your your shading as well, so very nicely done. Okay, now here's Ivy's room. Very clean, neat, very straight picture. Really impressed with that photo. And then here, this is the, uh, the drawing that she sent me initially, and we worked a little bit on... Um, what the perspective actually was because you can see the piece of furniture is a little bit away from the wall um, so we worked on that a little bit and then here is her corrected so it's it's just a little shorter than it looked than it appeared to be but i see the ceiling i see the floor uh, i see that she worked on this and corrected her perspective which is awesome and then here is her final I love all of this detail. That is so, so cute. And uh, I see a little bit of shading here. You know, it's like a little highlight on the, the trim of the fish tank. And I can see some texture. Yeah, your drawing is, is very, very good. Very good. Okay, and here's Remy's kitchen. Nice kitchen. Okay, I can see the ceiling. I can see... I can basically determine where the floor is, right? And then here's Remy's drawing. Uh, I do see some angles here, which is great. This um, countertop that's going into the distance. So I think you did a lot of um, very well with your observational skills. I love this little detail here. So we're seeing that the microwave is like coming forward a little bit and we can see that you know it's a cube so that is great 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 the only thing I don't see with this uh, drawing is that you um, cropped so with our final project each week uh, we have to remember about cropping the image so only our drawing is what we're going to share um, this will become especially important as we get to midterm and going forward um, yeah, starting this coming week, 
I need to take points off for that. But um, let's see, Ivy's perfect. Uh, Haley could crop a little bit so we don't see the sketchbook. And let's see, Haley, Haley, Haley. Donovan could crop so that we only see the drawing itself. Chloe's looks great. And we get down to Abby's. Okay, Abby's looks almost perfect. Just needed a little bit of crop there, um, which you can also straighten this in Photoshop. If you have uh, editing software or editing on your phone, you can rotate it a teeny bit, and that will go away. All right, I hope this was helpful. And again, it'll be a little uh, short quiz about uh, what we talked about here. So make sure everything sinks in. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're gaining these skills so we don't forget them. Okay, that's it.